Yo, Solana Beach, California. Guess who's gonna get old live? Not old as in, Christ on a popsicle stick, this is boring. I'm talking about Jay and Silent Bob get old, mo fuckers. Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes are coming to the Belly Up Tavern on November 22nd. Don't miss the debauchery, Iggy B. Jay and Silent Bob get old, recording their podcast live at the Belly Up Tavern in Solana Beach, California, on November 22nd. Get your tickets for this and all other Smodco shows at csmod.com. Red State DVD and Blu-ray available now at coopersdell.com. Get exclusive bundle packages featuring posters, soundtracks, t-shirts, signed scripts, wardrobe used in the film, and a chance to be a guest on air with Kevin Smith via Skype. Red State DVD and Blu-ray exclusive bundles now at coopersdell.com. Smirch alert, smirch alert, motherfucker, smirch alert. Go to smodcast.com slash smerchandise to get your official Jay and Silent Bob iPhone 4 cases from Casemate. Choose from three different snoogerific designs. We got soft ones and hard ones. Hey, I'm talking about the cases, bitch. All emblazoned with your favorite Smodco icons, Jay and Silent Bob. Snag your iPhone 4 case for $39.99 and protect the precious smodcast.com slash smerchandise yo Canada Jay and Silent Bob are gonna be royally mounting you December 7th in Vancouver December 8th Edmonton December 9th Calgary December 10th Saskatoon and December 11th Winnipeg their comedic maple syrup's gonna be gushing all over your timbits. How's that for a visual, eh? Jay and Silent Bob get old. Live in the Great White North. Linky links to tickets at smodcast.com slash get old in Canada. Hey, Eldborg, Iceland. On November 11th, Kevin Smith will be inside you. Kev is bringing his famous Q&A to Eldborg Main Hall, talking movies, comics, sex, taking a shit, whatever you want to ask about. Hilarity will ensue. Kevin Smith, live at the Eldborg Main Hall in Eldborg, Iceland, on November 11th. Links to tickets for this and all Smodco shows at csmod.com. So, you're saying, yo, sir, dude, I love sir, and I want to show the world. Wear your sir love with our official t-shirts, biatch. Fishies have no eyes. Let us fuck. Jay and Silent Bob get old. The Garmy. There's also posters, action figures. There's so many to choose from. Grab your smirch at smodgas.com. Scroll down and click on Smerchandise. Catch live video clips of Jay and Silent Bob Get Old and Hollywood Babylon on the Kevin Smith blog for the Huffington Post. Huff.to slash Kevin Smith blog. That's Huff.to slash Kevin Smith blog. Want early access to tickets for Smodcast Internet Radio's metric fuckton of live shows? Join Smodcast. For just $4.99 a month, you'll get CD-quality audio of every podcast you hear on Sir ad-free. It's like watching porn without having to fast-forward through that goddamn plot. You'll also get bonus video content and other badass exclusives. Smodcast. Where Smodcast goes save for pay. All the deets at Smodcast.com. Put your name on it. Just put your name on it. That's all I say. Be a man or a woman. Put your name on it. Middle name, Edward. Why is this soda feel like it's half empty? 
Colin. Oh, that Pat- I think Patrice drank half of that already. Oh, oh no! He lipped it. It's all right. Colin Ed- Edward. Edward. Get in the mic, sweetie. Edward Quinn. Colin Edward Quinn. <laughs> oh. Yes. I remember you from the days of Peggy Sue's on 13th Street. Hanging <laughs> around with Patrick Fahey. Yes. And Terry you Quinn. Me, you Thank were, you. You told me you were boxing at uh, Gleason's Gym. No, at Gramercy Gym. Okay. Yeah. At Gramercy Gym. And I told you, oh, yeah? I boxed at Gleason's Gym. But I didn't. I just – you were – You've always been a magnetic guy to me, a guy that like human pot, like Billy Connolly. I say this to her, like she said to me, Billy Connolly's human pot, like a guy when you're around him, you just like, hey, start. and that's how you, like Kevin Meany, we all feel that way about Yeah, you to me, you're human pot. And when I was around you at Peggy Sue's, I lied to you and I said, oh yeah, because my friend John Priest boxed at I know John Priest. Gleason's gym. I go, I boxed at Gleason's gym and you go, uh, what a... What size gloves do you guys use over there? You know, and what is standard? Sixteen, eight ounce. And you go, what are you? Sixteen ounce gloves? And like, I don't know why. I just took a shot in the dark. I go eight, and you were like eight. Oh my god! (laughs) What kind of crazy boxing gym is this? You guys must really be getting after it with your eight ounce gloves. It's almost like being bare knuckle brawl, like gentleman Jim Corbett, Jay Moore over here. (laughs) But I lied to you. Well, I felt great about that nice compliment. You know. Until you said, it's like we all feel like Kevin Meany. First of all, I never felt that way about Kevin Meany. I don't care. He doesn't care. I like Kevin Meany fine. But let me tell you something about Kevin Meany. As yes. you all know, yes. it is no secret that he came out of the closet a couple of years ago. Like Which a you- Murphy bed he came flying out. <laughs> L-O-L. Yeah, you're not kidding. Cracking people over the head. Sometimes more than but that. Wait, what? Let me tell you something. First of tell all, me. it was coming out Stop of the closet. Telling me you're going to tell me something. It was a big, it was a big breakthrough. Of course, nobody expected it when the guy did like <laughs> Ethel Merman impressions for 20 years. Well, what a surprise, Kevin, that you gay. But two years ago, I'm with my buddy Harry O'Reilly, who you know, Harry O'Reilly. Yeah, I'm listening to you. I'm reading. Okay. Things Harry about O'Reilly. you here. So we're on 38th and 9th, right? Okay. So we see Kevin Meany. He lives over there. So me and Harry is walking around the st- steps on 9th Avenue and 30th Street. You know, it's deserted over there. Talking to Kevin, he lived over there. Just joking around. He's like, what are you doing? He leaves. Fine. Don't think anything of it. That night, but there's nobody on the street except us three. It's quiet over there. That night, Louis Ferretta calls me, Quinn, is it true? I go, what? I saw Kevin. I talked to Kevin. He said you came out of the closet. You would like a gay lover. First of all, nobody's more macho than Harry O'Reilly, right? Right. And I go, What? got five kids, you know. I go, what? He goes, it's not true. I go, no. What are you talking about? I can't take it. And he goes, it's okay. And I was like, yeah, at least it's just, you know, a little thing between. He goes, I got to call Behar and tell her it was bullshit. I was like, great. So it's already on the view. So <laughs> that's, I think, your buddy Kevin Meany. He's, I didn't say he was my buddy. I'm just saying he's like a giggle festival. He's human. But, well, I don't find it that way, but. Some giggle, it'll call you gay next time he would. I'm gonna order, I'm gonna ask you questions I never got I'm to. See this rule. With Patrice. But anyway. I'm gonna ask you questions I never really got to, to with uh, Patrice. Patrice was very serious last week when he was here. He was? It was almost like a Charlie Rose interview. Oh boy. So, uh. He doesn't know who Charlie Rose is. Maybe Derek Rose. Derek Rose interview. Damn, I mean, that's tight. Come Bulls, on. right? Oh, yeah. Is there gonna be an NBA season? I hope oh, they lock no. it out. I hope the whole thing's gone. Lock it out. Yeah, you know it's why? It's a mistake for them to lock it out. Yeah, because some teams won't live. Oh, the Knicks. No, the Knicks will live because they're owned by, <laughs> you know, giant things. Like, it's the garden. It's a whole enterprise. With the Nets. Jigga what? Jigga who? <laughs> Rockefeller, y'all. Like, the Knicks are going to be fine because, like, uh, Barnum and Bailey comes in and, like, Bon Jovi come in. They right. sell out the garden. You go there for the Rangers and stuff. But like you get the, like Oklahoma City Thunder, like what? Yeah. I mean, you come on, what are you doing? Yeah, the no, Trailblazers. There's nothing doing. Mistake. It's horrible. You know they had like a fifty-fifty deal hammered out, and uh, I read this in the Times, and they Paul Pierce, Kobe Bryant, and ooh goodness, who was the I other heard one? It was a forty-forty deal. Ooh, and what the other twenty go to forty-forty? Mm-hmm. But they went in to show solidarity, and it. Uh, Fuck, who was the third guy? Because there was three years of college. It was four guys, and there's three years of college between them. Kobe, Paul Pierce. Oh, Kevin LeBron, Garnett. Kevin KG. Garnett. And somebody else went in. Three there years of college. Selfish. They all came right out of high school. Oh. Lower Marion High, player. Yeah. And, look and they went, and they told the owners, like, 
Like, this is what's up. This is what we're doing. And basically, the deal they already had negotiated just fucking flew out the window because everyone realized these guys are so far in over their heads. A, that the representation would let them go in unrepresented. And B, I got a kid that fucking barely got out of, you know, a, a high school with A&M in the title telling me how I should do my labor. Yeah, why did uh, they go in unrepresented? I don't know That's the, the answers, question. Colin. You've you been do, you, my ball since you walked in here. Didn't you? I like, I like your were, improv when you came in. Very, yeah, I, I know. Think. Colin <laughs> came in with the room service tray that I took <laughs> out. He came in and went, oh, look like, what I brought. Yeah, right away. Yeah, it was like that old school, like, 50s comedians meeting each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's like coming with a room service tray. People room on service tray was every improv in the 50s. And you, except you'd be Chinese. Someone's hiding <laughs> under it, though. Yeah, well, did you, like, hey, do the big broad character? Oh! oh! How did Jerry Lewis get away and Mickey Rooney, like, in those movies? Like, how is there not a residual, like, you're a piece of shit? For doing that fucking Stephanie. that Asian oh guy, like God, oh yeah. hello, he's a hey, hey, <laughs> Is the dog out, Mabel? Well, because I think uh, you let the dog out, Quinn. Mabel, let's go. I honestly Woo! think. Come on, Mabel. Well, if she's out, she, she needs to come in. I honestly believe that the reason. Uh, how's this for a little theory? All right. I honestly believe that the reason they don't get in trouble for it is because it makes people reassured of their fake narrative that this is a inherently racist country. Really? Yeah, Jay. Don't you think it's they get old and people canonize them and they can do no wrong? No, Jay, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking jerk. I love you, Quinny. You're the best. <laughs> so finally, after years of work working on my thing, you know, my manifesto in my apartment. I still have my manifesto. Uh, my wife would like to know if you'd like anything to eat. Oh, no, thank you so much. Get your eyes off of her. Oh, she looks hot. Dirty, rotten Irish scoundrel. I really am. Shanty Irish. Putting on airs. Walter didn't drink or smoke. He disapproved of the lottery. You want to fight, officer? I got a priest who's a... I got a brother. What is it? I got a brother who's a parish priest. A nice old fashioned white haired Paris priest. He'll come down, we'll be on the five o'clock news, crying my eyes out when you got the hell out of my house. <laughs> By the way, one of the rare examples, first of all, an amazing movie. Second of all, one of the rare examples of a little part like that. And she got like an Academy Best Supporting Actress yeah. or something? Pope Greenwich Village, Geraldine Page. Geraldine Page, Pope yeah. Greenwich Village. You know, uh, uh, Eric Roberts did this podcast. He did? Yes, he was my first like. Wow, act, yeah, that's like, cool as hell. I know it was. And then you get on Twitter and people go, "You were slobbering his dick. Why were you all lo-? like? Uh, he's in my fucking garage. What am I supposed to insult him? He's you, Eric Ro- Yeah, what you stroke this thoroughbred and make him run real good. You damn right. He's got the great Unsheath- stories. Yeah, I guarantee you. Him and his story. father ran guns to Cuba when he was a kid. What he goes? I he's, is that going to kill you? That like. No, because my father ran a theater company until he was blacklisted <laughs> in the fifties. And we're like, wow. wow, your father was blacklisted? Like, you know, you always hear about it. And he goes, so I'm about 10 years old and I'm on the bridge of a ship and we're running guns to Cuba. And, and in my, I didn't jump on it, but in my mind, I'm going, well, I think I know why your dad was blacklisted. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All those fake commie hunts and your dad's running guns to Cuba. Boy. Yeah. He yeah. <laughs> so- met a nice girl on the, on the beaches, <laughs> Bay of Pigs. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. You want to see a real movie about Cuba? Dirty Dancing 2. It tells the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a care. I'm still on Twitter mode. How That's do you so how do you get uh, uh, someone on Twitter asked how do you get a uh, how do you get into the local chapter of I don't give a care? <laughs> well, we're starting. A, it's going to be a movement, kind of like Occupy Wall Street in many ways, and it's going to start. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to uh, where we're going to set it up, but it is going to go global very shortly. I don't give a care. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of questions uh, that I'm not even. You know what? Who cares about Twitter? Forget these people. Have you seen that's that? a terrible thing to say? Hugh Jackman with all with his buddy on the surf and sand. Holy crow! Frolicking. Hugh Jackman came to my show, and I have to be honest. All men and all women. This guy's like six five or six six. Yeah. Big ripped bastard. He's like. <laughs> It really That's an, I got the name of my Showtime special. What? Big ripped bastard. He's like a genetic. Fr- he looks like a pro athlete. He's as big as a pro athlete. But what do you think his sport would be? I think maybe uh-huh. <laughs> finger popping. Anyway. You know what I mean? uh, was he? Was 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 Hugh Jackman cool as hell? 
Um, yeah, he was a really nice guy, of course. And did you think, uh, did you think he sl- swims in the man pond? Well, I never thought he was really gay, but a couple of the gay guys like, oh, you, you know. Well, they like, all do that. that. They think everybody's gay, right? I mean, I mean, for crying out loud, Louis Fernando thought you were gay. I know he did. Well, because Kevin Meany told him I was gay. 